Talk about Rick Perry, the governor of Texas. Mm -hmm. He's thinking of running. I think he's going to run. A lot of people think he's going to run. We won't know for a while. But in early August, he's going to have this prayer meeting that he's uh, organizing in Texas. Mm -hmm. He's on his website already talking about it. Let me play a little excerpt of sure. what he's saying. As an elected leader, I'm all too aware of government's limitations when it comes to fixing things that are spiritual in nature. That's where prayer comes in, and we need it more than ever. With the economy in trouble, communities in crisis, and people adrift in a sea of moral relativism, we need God's help. That's why I'm calling on Americans to pray and fast like Jesus did, and as God called the Israelites to do in the book of Joel. Uh, is that appropriate, do you think, for a sitting governor mm -hmm. to be getting involved in organizing a prayer and fast meeting like this I, I, at a stadium in Texas? I have no issue with that at all. Uh, what I do take issue with, and I would hope uh, Governor Peer would read some other parts of the Bible where it says faith without works is dead. I mean, you can sit here and pray, you can fast, but if you make no correction in your life, all of that stuff is meaningless. And so I have no issue with any politician doing that. You do not set your Christian faith or whatever your faith is aside when you go into office, but you better have some works along with your faith. Now some people are feeling uncomfortable, a little queasy about that. Well, a lot of presidents have called for prayer and fasting before, including Abraham Lincoln and George Washington, both of whom were people on, more on the agnostic side of the spectrum, to put it mildly. But here, here is the thing that I find most concerning. Um, when Governor Perry talks about um, the things that where government can't help. We are in the middle of a crisis of underemployment, of economic failure, dealing with things that government can do something about. When we're back in prosperity, when we have full employment, we will then still have, we'll have a lot of problems that are beyond the reach of government. Right now, our problems are within the reach of government. Let's hear some solutions. I gotta say this, Wolf, uh, if you saw the report on the tithing of Governor Rick Perry, making more than a million dollars over a four year period, only tithing $90, maybe that's one of the reasons why faith people can't do more, because Christians aren't tithing like they should. Wait, so, that's all he gave to charity? 90 bucks. Over four years? And it was, it was like over a couple of years to his church, $90. So maybe that's part of the problem. He's not tithing like he should, which the Bible talks about. All right, guys, I'm going to double check that. Make sure you're Go right. Because right that's a sensitive issue, obviously, guys. Thanks Thank very you. much.